best way to honor the commitment and sacrifice of those we lost is to redouble our efforts to provide the resources and support that our diplomats and our development experts deserve. So I'll leave it to others to characterize this report, but I think it's pretty clear it's time to move on. A little bit more moments ago from Hillary Clinton at a campaign event in Denver, Colorado, on this report from the Select Committee, Republicans on that Select Committee on Benghazi, David Asman, in addition to what we mentioned before our last break, said that it was taken on a partisan tinge and we should all move on. That the best happen. way to honor the people who died in that attack is to make sure that there is not another attack. Those of us who have families, particularly my son's a Marine, Marines are the ones who, who keep those embassies safe. I want to make sure that the next time something like this happens, other Marines are not going to be killed. What difference does it make? That's what difference it makes. It makes a lot of difference, and it honors the people uh, who are now guarding, now guarding the stations at various embassies around the world. Uh, it makes a huge difference what went wrong there to make sure that it doesn't happen again and more fine, decent honorable Marines aren't killed again. I'm told, we didn't have a chance to look in on it because it's happening right now, that Josh Earnest, the White House press secretary, has pretty much echoed Secretary Clinton's comments. Their thing is, this is partisan, almost like the right wing, right. you know, uh, conspiracy that the idea, there's Josh Earnest. Everything in D.C. is partisan. That's, that's obvious. Everything is partisan. However, the Democratic version of this report mentions Donald Trump 23 times. If that's not partisan, I don't know what is. What does Donald Trump have to do with the Benghazi investigation? What does Donald Trump have to do with what ha the mistakes that were made there that led to the deaths of four American citizens? Nothing is the answer unless you want to uh, put a political tinge on this thing. That was what the Democrats did with their version of the report. Was the Republican partisan? Of course, everything in D.C. is partisan. I'm sure some of the 800 pages were, uh, but the Democrats did exactly the same thing. Right. When they came out with their report, uh, yesterday it's the Republicans' turn today on this Benghazi Select Committee. So just wanted to pass those comments along from both Ernest and uh, Secretary Clinton because they both just came in.